In this video, we are going to learn how to chain multiple model animations. So for example, we have this cow with this idle animation playing, and what we want to do is play a second animation once the idle is finished, and then play a third animation or repeat the first one. You get the idea. As you can see here, we have this basic setup with a loaded model getting animated, which I have already made a tutorial on. Having said that, let's create a second animation and see how the mixer will handle playing them. Now, as you may have noticed, it, both animations are running simultaneously, which is not exactly what we want. Our goal, as I said earlier, is to play one animation after the other, and to do that we need a way to check if one animation has ended so we can run the next one, and gladly 3GS provides such functionality. So first, let's stop the eating animation and we'll get back to it in a moment. Next, to check if an animation has ended we need to add an event listener to the mixer, and the event we are interested in is finished, then we'll need a callback function in which we'll call alert just for testing purpose. Something you need to keep in mind is that the animations are looping by default, hence they are repeated forever, they don't have a finished event. So to fix that we need to make our action play one time or more as long as it is a finite number of times, in this case we'll make it repeat only once. And now let's see what we've got. As you can see, once finished we got the alert box displayed, and of course the cow standing without any animation. Now to make the animation loop again we just need to call play inside the callback function of the add event listener. And we also need to reset the animation to its initial state so it doesn't count as finished, and that by simply calling reset on the idle action. So currently the idle animation gets played, but we now are able to catch when it's finished and then play it again. However, instead of that, now we need to check what animation is finished in order to reset and play the other one. To do that, we'll set an if condition to check the name of the finished animation to play the other one. So e action clip name here returns the name of the completed animation. This translates to reset and call the idle animation if the finished animation name is eating. And we'll do the reverse to play the eating animation once idle is completed. And there we go. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.